Stop, that's come on. It's on my shoulder, it's alright, keep this up, get it off. Under-resourced before the war, not listened to during it. Chilcott finds the British Army was let down. The most obvious example, the Land Rovers, which left soldiers fatally exposed to roadside bombs. It is not clear which person or department within the Ministry of Defence was responsible for identifying and articulating such capability gaps, but it should have been. Colonel Chris Parker was Chief of Staff of the Desert Rats. He says the situation was a disgrace. Whole units had no desert combats, which is particularly difficult. The engineers were operating in black boots, which were melting on the vehicles that they were operating on because of the heat. Um, I went to war with nine bullets. So there were a lot of failings here which were causing high risk to life. And that people focuses people's minds pretty quickly. Tony Blair visited Basra shortly after the British took control. When people look back on this time and look back on this conflict, I honestly believe they will see this as one of the defining moments of our century. Away from the cameras, Colonel Parker briefed the Prime Minister and soon realised Mr Blair was surrounded by yes-men. What the hell was going on between the Prime Minister and myself that when we met, all those staff, a thousand people, there must have been in the line between me and him, what were they saying to either dilute what we were reporting on a daily basis um, to make sure that there was this abject indifference and failure going on? Four years of anarchy and ambushes led to a hasty retreat in 2007. The UK military role in Iraq ended a very long way from success. Chris Parker was long gone by that point, but his views reflect the bitterness felt across the army. What um, we can't understand is the reason why we were all there and the justification for all this um, blood and treasure that we lost as a nation and reputational loss. Someone's got to be accountable and it certainly shouldn't be the boys and girls in green because I think they did a sterling job. The Chilcot report agrees. Indeed, the troops are about the only people to emerge from all this with any credit. Simon Viger, 5 News.